Coming up, bluescope workers to fight for their future. A recommendation to make life jackets mandatory for rock fishermen and the final week of the Wollongong of Stedford. This is Win News. Tonight, bluescope workers step up their campaign to save the Australian steel industry. A recommendation to make life jackets mandatory for rock fishers. And cutting edge research to help treatment for depression. Good evening, I'm Karen Johnston. I'm Jeff Phillips. Also tonight, a report finds middle income families are doing it tougher than ever. And the final days of the Wollongong at Stedford. There's been a groundswell of community support to save the Blue Scarp Steelworks from possible closure. A petition and campaign were launched at a union meeting last night and already thousands are signing on to join the fight. It comes as 400 workers voted to reject the latest wage offer from the company. Still ahead on with news, a truck stop planned for South Nowra shelved. And a Wollongong woman opens up about her time as a victim of domestic violence. Welcome back. A Wollongong resident hopes her new book will shine a light on some of the darkest corners of Australian society. Gwen Wilson is telling the story of her life as a victim of domestic violence who was forced to give away her illegitimate son. Ten years in the making, the book has just hit the stores. Sport is next with Amy and a new hawk arrives at the snake pit. That is right, Jeff. AJ Ogilvie had his first shoot around at the home of Illawarra Basketball today. And Australian golf legend Jack Newton watches over the junior talent on show at the state championships. In sport, new Illawarra Hawks centre AJ Ogilvie has had his first shoot around at the snake pit today since signing with the club. The 27-year-old is looking forward to a big season under new head coach Rob Beveridge. And they are enjoying it. That's our sport, Jeff. Amy, thank you. The weather details are next, then the snow report. It was a cold, clear winter's day on the satellite tonight. Cloud moving over southeastern parts of the state with a cold front is producing gusty, cool showers and severe thunderstorm activity. Low cloud associated with this front over the south is not producing any rain. Cloud with a trough in the northeast is also failing to produce any rain. On the synoptic chart, Ohio caused brisk southerly winds to ease in South Australia, Tassie, Victoria, New South Wales, and southern Queensland, leading to a cold, frosty morning and generally dry day. Southerlies on the east coast will only bring the odd brief shower. Wollongong today hit 16 degrees, barrel minus two over. Night, Nowra 15, Ulladulla 17, Batemans Bay 14, Nowra, Maroo rather 17, same for Naruma, 15 degrees in Bega, 14 in Marimbula, Eden 4 to 8. The forecast for the Illawarra on the highlands, areas of morning frost about the highlands before a sunny Thursday with west to south westerly winds. For the south coast, sunny with areas of morning frost. Seas are running at 1 to 3 metres on a 2.5 to 4 metre swell with the first tide tomorrow low at 3.09. Top temperatures, Eden 15 degrees, Marimbula 14, Bega 13, 14 in Naruma and Maria, 14 for Batemans Bay and Ulladulla, 14 in now at minus 2 to 10 in Bowral, Wollongong 8 to 15. Further ahead, a mainly fine weekend on the way and it should remain mainly sunny on Monday. Now with the latest from the ski fields, here is Lauren Tomasi. Hello from Threadbo, where it's certainly a wintry mix up here today. The cold front pushed through, leaving us with cold temperatures right around the resort and snow falling down to the village. Snowmaking kicked over a maximum of 151 snow guns overnight to add to the cover, which is looking good for riding top to bottom. Friday flight is the spot to hit for those first turns on the snow, while the cruiser area and high noon are providing the longer runs. Windchill has been keeping that temperature right down to around negative 15 degrees, so do rug up. If you are new to the snow, be sure to check out the Threadbo snow play park which is the perfect spot for tobogganing and tubing or to have a snowman build off with your friends. Of course for the jibbers we have three terrain parks open. Introductory Wombat World Park, the beginner cruiser line under the chairlift and for the more advanced the ballroom line at the cruiser is offering a mix of features as well as a 15 foot hikeable jump over at the snow play park. Well we will be continuing the snow dance into today before we see a mostly fine weekend ahead. Perfect for some skiing and boarding. In Threadbow this is Lauren Tamazi, Win News. And that is Win News for Thursday the 2nd of July. To view some of our reports, visit the Win News Illawarra Facebook page. Join us for the All Australian News at midnight and again tomorrow for the best 90 minutes of news from 6. Good night. Good night. This has been...
been a Win News presentation from Win, Australia's number one regional television network. 